Hey there YouTuber and welcome to another video. Here I'm going to show you how to get a code UI test for this application, Win Calculator Solution. So we're all to get started. I'll show you how to add a code UI test project course. You go add new project, you just go to test and you just add a code UI test this way. Give you location solution. That's how you do it. so. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to add about three quarter UI tests here. So add my first one here. Here I'm going to record action, edit UI map, or a session. Same thing. Now we need to open the calculator window. This is, this is the part that catches people out. You don't want the application in Visual Studio. You have to do a different way. And normally I did want it, and this is how I did it. You go to cat window, you just finish through your project, this solution, cat window, you go to bin, release, always release. You click on cat window. Now, before I do that, I'm going to start recording. The first thing is I'm going to show what happened if I enter the letter B. Now last time it didn't work out because forgot to jam record at the end. Now here I'm going to enter this 11 and that's it. Now I'm going to show you what happened if I enter B. Sorry, only number is allowed. Now I'm going to start recording here by clicking this and just enter letter B. And just have to say two now, you see. So we'll go add and jam it. Now, sorry, but there is a kind of message. Add and jam it. Jam the code. Now, I just click on OK and exit. No, the assertion is next. Now, you do the assertion. I, I didn't do that last time. Then you go to text, you add a session, click OK. Now we generate code, and that's something I didn't do last time. You must generate code. And call it display box one. Add and generate. I'll go ahead and now go ahead and close it. Close this. And then we're going to add another. Go to our UI test, and we're going to do one for changing the number. I go ahead, open the cat. I'm uh, going to record this. Open the cat window and enter some number here. And there you go, 37. Now, I just change record into 33 and 44. Add in January, do one for assertion, which is 37. And split text, do OK, and just check 37. Add a generate. Now I'm going to show you what happens if I change the number. So I'm going to resume, I'm going to start recording. Now here, I'm going to change 44 to 4. Now, and then I jam it code again. Add to put N2, so i make sure I be careful here. Then I will call again, do another one for assertion. Okay, and then to Call it issue 37. And now, how you change the number, folks. Now we're going to X this out and X this out. Now we're going to do the last one here, call it UI test. And we do one for what happens if I remove the number. Oh, wait, we'll open the calculator. We'll call it first. Open the calculator window 
uh, into some number uh, into 22 and 28 and um, go ahead and into 22 and 28 add a generate we'll call again do that search and trick again display text 50 click on ok and just say issue 50 add a generate now and then I'm going to call again and here I'm going to remove 28 so I do that sure everything is ok and we're going to generate code say remove 28 now we add a generate now we're going to record we're going to do two assertion here we're going to do one for the empty box sure everything is ok it is empty click on ok and I go ensure empty here add the generate you can only do one assertion per record by the way that way I have to recall again and do another search in here no one for 22 click on OK and just say ensure 2 little duck 22 we add a generate generate sorry and we exit this out and we're happy enough with it and then we'll go throughout the code okay and then we just want to choose the test seven minutes now this should pass I open the calculator window here I open the calculator here so it is so slow so I only number is allowed and I pass there you go now we'll do the next one here uh, I mean number five and this one for changing the number so we're going to do Cooper we're going to run the test right here I normally start off open the calculator that's normally the first thing I do Here I'm going to open the application again. Whoa, that was fast. Ooh. Shoot. Um. Yeah, quick here. Shouldn't be there actually. I should not, it should not be there actually. And the 7B issue, I don't want to see that one here. Normally, if you do them carefully, the test will have passed. Here, and then I remove them. That passed this time. Okay. Now, number six here. And this is the one for empty out. So I won the test again for the final time and we should have a passed. Okay, we we'll go ahead and end this part here. Just we get this one right. It just we played the test. Into twenty eight and twenty two, remove it. And there we go. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's helped some bit. So that's all for this. For this coded UI tutorial. So please wait, subscribe, and come on my video. And I see you next time. So bye.